Hey guys, it's me, Kumbasan, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly FNAF News, which I cover the weekly FNAF News every Saturday. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and tell me in the comments what your favorite FNAF game is. If I get enough comments, I will reply to it in the next video, and you'll be on the channel. But let's just start off with the news. We got a lot of news, a lot of more news, especially since the FNAF anniversary week is over. We don't got like another big surprises anymore, so it's more, mainly Mort now. But that's not an entirely bad thing because the Mort is pretty cool. So, so let's just start off with the Mort. So, an important look at the eight-inch Sun and Moon YouTube video releasing for forty dollars on August thirteenth alongside the Pit products. So, the eight-inch Sun and Moon video that cost forty dollars, which is kind of crazy. These. This mold is getting kind of pricey nowadays, since I've noticed, like, it's getting very expensive. But if you like Sun and Moon, which I know is getting a lot of more recently, pick it up. But it is pretty expensive, so just an FYI. A Walmart exclusive steelbook for Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's will be released on October 8th, available to pre order now. So, we are getting a steelbook version of the FNAF movie, uh, which is awesome, because people can use it as a collector's item i really like the cover too it's very cool it's gonna be metallic of course and it comes it's 4k ultra hd uh comes with a blu-ray a digital code and uh ultra 4k hd i guess people don't really use dvds anymore i don't really use dvds anymore i only do it for certain movies like movies i like so for the fnaf movie i still don't have it for dvd so i can't wait to actually get this it costs like 30 dollars i believe or like 27 dollars so it is pretty expensive, but it is it basically is a collector's item, so you gotta put that in mind. There is also some special features, but they aren't nothing crazy, so that is awesome. I love when we get some FNAF movie news. Also, the U2's Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit products and 8-inch and Sun and Moon figures are available now. So you can pick them up right now, you get uh, the Into the Pit stuff, it comes with a plusy, a bunch of pins, and that's it. And the Sun and Moon, we already talked about earlier, like a minute ago, and yeah, you can... Pick them up right now. Uh, buy them before they uh, sell out. I really like the uh, Pit Bonnie uh, plusy because it's it, there's some things wrong about it, but I find it really funny. Now we got a lot of Hex stuff, so we got a new look at the prototype Circus Baby Hex Plus that also has bells on whole boots that jingle. So I really like this design. Baby is a pretty scary animatronic. Baby is always uneasy to me. It's, he kind of creeps me out. But made a new Hex Plus and it's pretty scary and cute at the same time which hex does that it's a very good balance and i love the extra detail see apparently it comes with a microphone which is awesome i really hope they like docker did something with that hat you know with a stump like there's a secret ice cream in there or something but i know that's kind of hard to do whole bells also jingle so that's just an added thing so pretty cool pretty cool they are pretty big uh plusy so kind of pricey but it's kind of worth the money but that is just a prototype that something's changed Doku did say the wing around her neck is going to become smaller and the uh, fan on her chest is going to become a little bit bigger. But that's pretty much all the changes that he said in a recent video. We also got an upcoming look at the Shadow Bonnie Hex Plus. So the character's eyes, teeth, and paws will glow in the dark, releasing alongside the Shadow Footy Plusy likely next month. So next month we're getting Shadow Footy and Shadow Bonnie. There is some changes between uh, this version of Shadow Bonnie. So the eyes look like it's like more downwards a little bit. And same with the mouth. I'm not an export at like plusy like reviews and stuff like that because I only have a 40 Fazio Plus. But I honestly like the the older version better in my opinion. It's a little bit scary in my opinion, and it's a little bit more goofy looking. Was I kind of like the goofy look of it, but I guess some people didn't, which is a valid reason. But we got an updated look of it. It's on white on white there. Also, how about you guys think? Uh, I think it's oh okay. That's all I can really say. We also got more Hex stuff. It's really Hex week because Doc has been cooking. So we got an exclusive new look at the upcoming Night Marionette Hex Plusy featuring light up eyes. So this Plusy is going to have eyes that light up, which I hope isn't a fire hazard. But we got replaceable batteries located in the back of the head, planned for an October release alongside the previous T's T sword and pen. So in October, Night Marionette is becoming a plus a Hex Plusy and it has glow up eyes. I think it's very cute. It's a very like the tentacles on Night Marionette, it's, it's a very cute and scary Hex Plus. That's basically of every Hex Plus, so scary and cute. <laughs> and now we actually got our, uh, something from Funko, which is surprising because, you know, the, the past thing with the licenses and stuff like that. So we got our, we got our first look at the new retail exclusive Marionette Funko Pop for the Five Nights at Freddy's 10th Anniversary. Releasing very soon alongside the previous reported Withered Golden Freddy Pop Decor. 
So we're gonna look at the pop figure for uh, Million Ed, and it's exclusive to retail, which is disappointing. I really hate when they do that. But we're getting a new Million Ed Funko Pop, which is surprising after all that uh, dumb losing licenses and stuff. But I guess they still have pop figures, so that's cool. I guess if you like the pop figures. So that is all for the most. So now we actually got some game news. So Funko Fusion released a new trailer. I'm gonna show you. It's FNAF based. I'm only gonna show you the FNAF trailer. Uh, so here we go. I think it's all white looking. I like how the cameras work, and it looks like the animatronics are gonna be attacking you and stuff like that, which is gonna be pretty cool. I'm very uh, surprised that FNAF is gonna have entirely and have an entire map about it, which is well, it's just surprising, but it's gonna be cool. If you guys like it, maybe pick up the game when it comes out. I'm not sure if I will actually play the game because I only really care about FNAF, and I don't want to buy the game just for Five Nights at Freddy's. If you understand. We also got the biggest news in my opinion for Five Laps at Freddy's. They fixed some stuff recently about the beta and stuff since the brand's launch. So we have a so they have been working around the clock to fix Five Laps of Freddy's demo. We appreciate your patience. We have launched a new beta plans for the demo on Steam. Access to build by access to build by entering exotic bottles in the demo properties under the betas. The beta includes updates including the following it's just a bunch of fixes and stuff like that. So my biggest complaint about the demo was the sinkhole stage and it was basically unplayable. It is now playable guys so that is great to heal because there's a lot of soft locking and stuff like that that made you infinitely respawn and stuff and that wasn't fun to play but thankfully it got fixed so they are actually working on the game and give them constructive criticism and stop insulting the game because they aren't gonna take that they're just gonna ignore your thoughts and stuff like that just because you're just being rude and not actually helping at all so yeah, that's all the news for this week. Not a lot of news, which is surprising, but it's after the 10th anniversary, so it's not going to be a lot of news. Mainly more, it's what I expected, but it's an okay week. I'm not going to complain, but if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And like I said earlier in the video, tell me in the comments what your favorite FNAF game is. And if we have enough comments, I will put one in the video for the next video. But I will see you guys next time.